Hello everybody, it is your boy TwinPlays here, back with another video, I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So in this tutorial, we are going to talk about the episode 2 of, um, part 2 of the Cafe Game Series. Um, I want you guys to stay deep in tune with all this because each video is going to be different this time where it's not going to be in a kit, it's actually going to be just models themselves for you guys to import by each video and for you to do them yourself. In the end of this, um, in the end of the tutorials, of course, I will be making a kit, a brand new one with everything inside it. For now, we're going to be doing this. Um, so I hope Boba doesn't kill me for this, but um, in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to make a leader, start, leader stat board and leaderboard exactly like this. And we're going to be also doing these top bars right here, plus the group doors. Um, so this is going to be a little much, but yeah, I am excited. Um, so we're going to talk about how to make this. And um, yeah, in each tutorial, we're going to be doing things like UIs. Um, the next... In a few other tutorials, I will be doing UIs all together. That's going to have an overhaul of like the overheads, um, all this stuff right here. Um, it's going to take a while, but I do need to get that out, which will happen. Um, it's not going to be as nice, but it'll be, it'll be good. Um, but yeah, so we're going to talk about this. Um, let me show you quickly what it looks like. All right, so as you can tell, it is literally the exact same thing, um, except I made it a little different. You got the Boba Cash points up here, and then you have the leader stat board. And as you can tell, Boba Bucks, points, and rank. Um, it's basically the exact same thing and we have these doors that you can walk through which i will talk about in a sec here um but yeah so i'm really excited to give this to you guys and i'm excited to see how the series go um but like i said simple scripts more of the stats of course because we want to get that started first as that kind of goes into everything um and i have a whole configuration module for you but um nothing another thing to state is um make sure you hit that subscribe button uh, that's not what I was gonna say, but please hit the subscribe. It means a lot to me. Um, so this tutorial, this series is not gonna be like a kit this time. It's gonna be a bunch of models. So I want you guys to stay tuned because this model, which you're gonna go in the description right now, you're gonna grab it. It's the link below. So grab the model. Um, you can download it. You can edit it. Whatever you like. And we're gonna hop right into studio. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. Um, but yeah, once you get the model, um, we're gonna hop into studio, and I'm gonna show you how to import this. And yeah. Let's do this. All right. So it's going to be this right here. Uh, oops. And um, you're just going to grab this. You can download it, like I said, or try it in Studio, whatever is easier for you. Um, one, but once you get this, you just go into Model uh, uh, Toolbox. So Model, oh my God, Home Tab, Toolbox. Go to your inventory. It should just be the first one right here. And once you import it, it's going to give you this big old folder right here. So I'm going to explain this to you guys how this works. And you also need to quick click attention quick attention because there is one thing you need to do in your game for this to work with the doors and everything like this but you're good to just look at this there's a readme script if you want um i should probably say what else you need to do oops uh so server script service uh wait no nope, sorry starter player scripts um server script service workspace and then replicated storage you could delete that and then we're going to just do command u oh command u command u command u command u and boom all right so I'm going to explain the stats, the asset config, everything like that first. Uh, we can even open up everything, but so we do have top bar here. Just FYI, this is a simple script. Honestly, let me just go through this real quick. Um, this top bar script is what has the little board, boba bucks and value points on there. Now, I want you guys to know that like boba can't really do anything about this. Like I'm making a game for you guys, and you you have all used to doing this if you want. Um, boba is not a copied like copyright thing that's just a word um so you know if you want to make your own bubble cafe game totally go ahead and do that it's up to you this is not something you have to worry about um but i honestly recommend changing it and making something different just for the you know creativity but you know when you change things there's a lot of stuff you will have to change with the script um in a sort you don't really have to but you kind of do because uh boba bucks right here when we come to talk about leader stats you're you're getting boba bucks so if you were going to change this you were need to change it to you know like whatever you say you have to change everything so anything related to what this is and you want to change you're going to just have to change it all the same to what it is um but what we're doing here is we're just creating a new uh little icon for the top bar setting the label to the value and then having this little text to it set the order to one so it's the first one on the left and then we're checking if the value gets changed um as in saying when the players get more points or whatever it's going to change it again the label so that's all we're doing and then this is for the points super simple but 
I do have a big old script here I want to talk about. Um, this is going to be a little bit much for you guys, but we're going to open everything up right quick. Um, so this asset convict, this is going to be for later. I want you guys to just save this and look at it and see what I made for you, but it's kind of for later. But you also do need to edit a few things. So if you do have a game pass that you want to do double points or VIP, and as you can tell, I was already getting started for some things here because I will probably be making these in the end. But um, game passes, this is a module script. In the module script, we're going to have everything inside it. This is so we can just organize things and keep it all clean, everything like that. And you don't have to access anything. And this is where everything goes. So when you go to scripts like these, you can just access this thing and do everything from it. So VIP, you know, just put your game pass IDs right here just for these two. Um, what I made for the stats, which I'll kind of talk about in a sec, um, I made it so if you do have a VIP game pass, they get three times more Bobux cash, Bobux boba cash and then for the double points or double cash they get you know double uh they'll get five actually an in increment if uh that's what happens but there is the double as well um so basically yeah so we have the game passes right here then we have the dev products which we're not using right now don't worry about this but this is going to be for later dev products will basically just you know have the title how much it costs the price the id all that super simple stuff this is literally just an array of tables and just for you guys to just look through and, you know, make it simple. Uh, we have badge IDs, which we'll talk about later. Um, this can be like welcome badge, meta dev badge, example, you know, other badges you want. Then we have the group. This is the main thing you guys are going to look at right now and we're going to test and change. So you guys do need to get your group ID. It's very simple. Um, basically, it's just going to have this little, uh, it's going to like be something like this, okay? And you're just going to grab this ID right here. So once you get that ID for your group, and like I said, guys, cafe games, they, they need groups. You can't make a cafe game without a group. So make sure you're doing this tutorial with a group. Um, and you put it in here. Now, I was following Boba because I, um, oh gosh, you know what? I forgot one thing. We got to the teams. Uh, well, you'll see that um, <laughs> in your thing that you need to ungroup the teams as well. These teams will be in here. I totally forgot about that. Um, so I'll add that. But yes, these teams are what we're talking about. They have different colors. Um, as you can tell, custom uh, auto assignments for the customers, so that's perfect. Um, let me actually quickly update this. <laughs> All right, never mind. So I, that was just a quick pause for you guys. I'm really stupid. Um, you actually, I guess you can't copy teams, so you have to make them. So I'm gonna show you quickly how to do this. You're just gonna click this add object. You're gonna click team, and then all you're gonna do is just go down here, and then you're going to, um, you know, put the name as uh, executives. And then you also will need this uh, little emoji. So I left that in the README for you guys. So you can just go check the README and just copy and paste all these little names. Make sure the team colors are correct. So we have like bright red, carnation pink, mint, cool yellow, and really black for developers. Um, this is very customizable. You don't have to do that. If you know how to script, I recommend going into here and making your own teams. Um, if you want to mess with this, like I said, how this works is I have a team right here, and as a team is like the color, and then the rank. So when it comes to ranks, you're gonna go in your group. Now this is kind of a whole different thing, but um, this is where you access the roles, and you grab the rank IDs. So how this works is basically, um, I kind of set it to zero for customers, because customers normally don't, are not in the group, um, but if they join, they'll be ranked one, but, you know, for staff, it's normally rank like five. So you, you just want to make sure you're setting this to the right number. So like if you're a barista, not if you're a trainee, but if you're like a barista or a chef or a cook or lead kitchen, you know, so that's where you kind of match the ranks with the management, developer ranks, executives. Now, remember this, um, it doesn't have to be the exact number. So like for staff, you want to go like one number below or like the number of it. And then realize that we're checking to see if anyone's over that number, not is that number and over. So equal to or greater than. Um, and then we're going to check that. So, you know, from 50 to 5 is what we're saying right now. Is what we're going to be checking. In a second, I'll show you. But, yeah, so make sure you guys do this. You can just copy and paste. And, yeah, look at these things right now. I'm going to quickly also just update that real quick because I forgot to do that. Okay, sorry. So, yeah, right here, done. Executives, developers. You can just copy and paste this. Make your own teams right through here. Super easy. So I hope you guys kind of understand what I mean by, like, it's really customizable um, when it comes to that stuff. So you basically can just like make your own teams, change the names, all that stuff. You just need to make sure you change this one script right here and that's it.
Um, and also, well, sorry, no, there's a few more like these things right here, which we'll talk about. Um, actually, I'll just go straight into this because this is easier. So how the team script work, and this is located in this file, um, it's super easy. Basically, you just uh, go into asset config by requiring the module script in here, and we're going to go into the group, and then right here, and then group ID. So we're going to grab that group ID. Then we're going to check when the player gets added and their appearance get loaded. We're going to check if they're in their group. And we're actually going to get their rank in their group. So we're going to use that group ID, this one. And then we're going to check if it's greater than or equal to, um, then we're going to say executives group dot ranks so executives dot rank so we're going uh we're going in here we're going in here and then we're going in here and we're grabbing this number right here so if it's greater than that then we're gonna, uh, or equal to and greater than then we're going to put their team to executives so that's why when i join the game because it's my group and i'm ranked that highest number i'm ranked this number now like i said it's the same vice versa stuff so if i'm ranked lower if i'm ranked developers or ranked staff whatever i'm going to be put that but anyone else that joins a team and, you know, they just um, uh, are, let's say, you know, customers dot rank equals, you know, their dot customers rank, then, you know, they're just going to be ranked customers. Um, and also, you can also just do else right here um, and just go. Uh, actually, I should probably just do that instead. I should probably update that too. <laughs> um, else, you will just want to do that instead. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much simple for that part. All right, now, so we're going to talk about the group doors, but... Um, yeah, we're gonna talk about the group doors. So I, I kind of had some troubles because I don't really know how I want to do this specifically, but we can change this in the future. So it's not bad for now, but all this is, is basically we're going to be using collision group. Now, um, this is, I thought would be better because I don't want it. So like it just teleports you. It's just a mess. It should just be where they can just walk right through the door. That's how it should be. So how this works um, and I have this for later just in case because um, right now it's for everyone who has a rank like staff rank or whatever and above is able to go inside this door and this guys these doors are the cafe doors now I will make a thing later showing how to make a door just for staff or executive or blah 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 but for now I'm just doing this because this is more simpler but um, I'll just explain the script so we're basically going to make a little function that allows the player to go inside by creating a collision group for them <laughs> so we check when they get added and we check if they're in the group and if they're in the group and they're like i said like awesome hiccups is greater than or equal to these certain ranks then we're going to check when a player gets their character loaded in the game we're going to do that function right here which is adding a collision group now for this to work you need to go to model tab and you need to go to this collision groups thing right here so click this and it's going to load this up for you, okay? And now, you have a few things you need to do. So, if you don't have these, what you need to do is hit add group. And then name it allowed player. And then do another one and do a door. Now, make sure the values look like this, okay? Um, you can do the table view or list view. That is exactly how it should look. Um, so, make sure this is how it works. Turn these off. Um, just, this is exactly how it should work. Now, what that is doing, so then we can close this. Once you have that done, you're going to be super easy. Um, you just go and look at the doors, okay? So this means I can literally just copy and paste this door and just go whatever, group three. It doesn't even matter. And then um, this is basically going to be collision group door. Um, so you guys are probably like, why aren't you teleporting? Why aren't you making it non-collidable, blah, blah, blah? Because um, I'm not using a local script um, for this and I don't want people to just walk through it. Um, I'm using a server script because I thought it would be easier to just do that for you guys so you don't have to worry about doing much um, or touching anything, um, just in my opinion. But yeah, so basically that's pretty much it. Um, super simple, it just adds a collision group so people can just walk through the doors for free. Um, I mean, I mean, sorry, if they're in the real group rank and all that stuff. So now, um, once you have that figured out, we're going to talk about the stat script. So this is a simple script that I use in all of my tutorials, vibe game, everything like that. Um, basically it's just, you know, this is the VIP game pass config. You don't have to change anything here. You're done. But if you want to change something, there's some things you can change. Um, like I said, if you don't have a game pass for some of the things, like you don't have that two times or you don't want to, you should definitely have VIP. So don't, I would recommend it. Um, I would recommend getting rid of this, but. You could just go like that and get rid of that double times.
But basically how this works is we're creating a rank, we're creating points in the Boba Bucks. Now, if you want to change this, like I kind of mentioned, you would need to change everything in here. So, you know, if you wanted to go twin bucks, okay, let's go like this. You want to name some stupid crap. Go like that. Go down here. Change these two button things right here. Go down here. Change this. Blah, blah, blah. Change this. Blah, 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 blah. Like that. You're done. And then you just got to change that top bar script. So, kind of simple when it comes to this stuff. It, it makes sense. Um, but what's happening right here is when we're adding the, the bucks. So, if you don't want them to wait every five minutes then you can change it to like 60 which is every minute now what i th saw in boba cafe was that the boba bucks are um basically how long they stay in the game for it's just cash for how long so this is what i'm doing is we're creating a core team resume which is basically creating a little loop that checks and uh, while true beer and it checks every 30 sec 300 seconds um and then it increments by the value but like i said you guys um if you don't want that if you so so the reason we're doing the bubble bucks is because ca cash can be used in game for other things but points are earned by serving people so that's how this works so i will do that in a whole different script this is gonna be later on when people are serving things like that so don't need to worry about that right now but yeah pretty simple um yeah so i, I think i went over everything <laughs> um stat scripts so just make sure if you guys have any questions just comment below join the discord just make sure you follow the video. I know it's a little confusing. Um, really, all you need to worry about is the teams and like collision groups, um, and then like changing the assets configurations in here. Um, but really, customize it to your liking. Um, and then in the next video, I don't know what we're talking about. But we'll figure it out. I will make another video on UI and overheads and uh, just more stuff overall. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial, and um, I will see. Excellent.